Good morning, world. Good morning, Facebook. Good morning, YouTube. Good morning to the whole world. It's Tuesday, November 12th, and as you can probably see, I'm exhausted to the point of it's 11 o'clock and I just got up off my couch going, ugh, another day. Why? I just want to sleep. Can I not be a mother today? Can I not be a store owner? Can I just be a single person having five days off so I can just sleep? But that's not it, right? There's no water, we cannot take a shower. There's no water in this village, there's humongous problems with the water. But who really cares? Let's see what we got yesterday, some of it at least. Some of it, not all of it, some of it. What's gonna actually help us save money? And I wish we have water by tonight so I can take a shower because it's getting really itchy. My hair is getting itchy, itchy, itchy. But that's not the topic. Let's see what we got, because yesterday I know I made a really, ouch, awful video. By trying to fit so many things in one video and not just one video by trying to do so many things at the same time having a really bad day was quite even I can't explain it it was a hard day yesterday but let's go back and let me just make my coffee and we're off to the kitchen see what we got and how I put them away not properly that's a bad there are days I'm like no, I don't want to be a mom. I don't want to be a store owner. I don't want to be nothing. I just want to be sleeping. And today's one of these days. But I had to get up off the couch. I got off the couch, out, out of bed, to the couch. From the couch, I stayed there two hours, not wanting to get up. But I have to get up, don't I? Mom and store owner, try to save money at the same time. I think I took too much upon me, but... If you do not do 500% of what you're supposed to do, well, guess what? Things don't happen. Do you want to improve your future? Have more fun? Have more money? Have more this? Have more that? Well, guess what? You have to put 500% in yam. Yeah. 500% of yourself is not easy. Some people just put 50% of their self and like, why am I going ahead in my life? I wanted so many things to be done, so many goals to be finished. And I'm like, really? Today, even my cell phone seems as if I'm holding bricks. That's how my bad my body and my hands, all my body is sore. But I, I'm not giving up. I'm trying to get myself up. It's like, go, go, go. And guess what? I think it's rubbing off on George. Let me make my coffee. Because with no coffee, my second coffee. I do not actually work. My coffee is, I think, my batteries. While the coffee is getting ready, we're opening the fridge. The freezer. Freezer. I know it's a mess, but the way I was dumping everything in yesterday just to go grab my daughter, well, too bad. Let's see what we got. Uh, where are we? Right here is one of them. We got some toast from Lido. And it's on, if I can find the sticker. Of course, it's going to be in the back. We got it for a dollar. Yeah, for one forty ninety eight cents. I just say dollar. When I saw this, I got four packs. And in the freezer they go. Somewhere in here, there's another three packs. Yep. We had fun cutting bread again and again. So we got six loaves. See, double bag them. Three bags from Lidl. Double bag them. In the freezer they go. We also got... Uh, Some fish sticks from Lidl. These were like, I don't remember, but they were the cheapest and there was 18 pieces. So we're good. We're going to figure out the price. And this is some sausage that I bought. And it's actually cut up, put in paper. And there's more things that we got. Oh God, I have to sit down and fix the freezer tomorrow. And of course I got some American style toast. This I actually paid a little bit extra, but... Somebody opened it, probably George, last night, but I love this toast. Okay, so after going in the car about a billion times, because I did find the receipt, it's focusing. Here we go. We're at Lidl, right? Let's see what we got. Yeah, I forgot to bring my bag, so I paid seven cents. The two packs of bottled water, 12 by a half, I know. 
260, but guess what? It's a lot easier to carry these than to carry the 24 packs. The 24. And a lot easier to just dump them in the refrigerator. Remember, I sell these 50 cents each at a store. Now, this is the bread that's in the freezer. Remember, four, 50 cents a loaf? We got six. Yeah, I stayed at that machine and cut six loaves, but I couldn't film them. So six loaves, where are we? Let's say three, it's 294. The American Sandwich Bread, 154. I did kind of pay extra. And the bread that's almost gone bad, so not bad, it hasn't expired yet, but it was 140. So we got three of them. And look at this. It's 420 for three loaves of uh, toast, but minus 30% for each pack. So it's minus 126. That's almost like, yeah, it's like getting one for free. I just dumped in the freezer and we're good. Okay, we got my daughter those mini croissants she loves to take to school. We got two packs of them. Yeah, the little, see, they're 37 grams each. So each pack has five. 154. The fish sticks, we got two packs for 163. That's why I said almost 15. And I wrote 15 down. There's 18 pieces, so I'm going to sit down at some point and do 165 divided by 18 to see the actual cost of each stick. And you're going to ask, why am I going to do one, where am I? I lost it again. 165 by, uh, divided by 18, because I'm going to give those fish sticks out as little nibbling foods that they give with the raiki, the tsipur and stuff like that. So you can see if it's cost efficient for me to do that but we also went to galaxy see most of this stuff was put in the freezer except for the american toast bread sandwich bread whatever um the toast like the three packs i got i just left one outside we're gonna be eating it like that in french toast and stuff like that because i really love having a sandwich i might just dump that in the freezer too today because i left it out and finish the american bread America sandwich toast before I actually start using up the frozen ones. I do bring a lot of things home, divide them, and put them in the freezer. And I'll show you the sausage. But we're off to Galaxia, the receipt from Galaxia to see what I got from there. Yeah, I love this table. It's the brightest table, so I don't have to open lights. Let me just add it in my jeans, the receipt, and it's got all the key. But, anyways, we'll translate it. Let's see, the tan canned tomatoes, store brand canned tomatoes, 43 cents. I got another bag. Yeah, I spend the whole 13, 12 cents, I don't know, 12 on bags. Another canned tomato. One, two, three, four packs of store brand spaghetti, 52 cents a pack. Galaxia uh, Lucanica. All those little, like, little, little, um, it's like those little, like, little, they're like mini hot dogs. This is the sausage. Five ninety a kilo. We paid three eighty one because we didn't get a kilo. We get almost a little bit above a half a kilo of sausage. Some milk for my daughter because she doesn't drink any other kind of milk. I know it's the most expensive milk on the market, but that's it. And rice. That I wanted that was on the my list, but store brand 126. Okay, I did go to another place where I bought what did I bought calamari. I got 20 pieces of calamari and a professional pack of hot dogs. Remember, I'm a store, so I do buy things from professional places. But those are for the store. Even most of this is for the store. We're going to be eating some of this as a family, but most of it is from the is for the store. So yeah. 
Okay, the croissants, the mini croissants are not for the store. They're for her. I'll even steal one. We also got George a birthday cake. Okay, so the birthday cake we got George, my mom decided to pay for it as she decided to get us some mince meat. Free! But I had, took her to the flea market, which I don't want to go yesterday. You could actually see and kind of figure out I didn't want to go to the flea market. I just went up there to pay the banks, one bank, the other bank I paid down in Edip Show, and to, yeah, put the minimum for my mortgage and my crash car. Lesson learned, do not buy a new car. I did that 15 years ago and I still have another 15 years of payments. Yeah, I could probably do it a lot faster, but, but. Lesson learned, do not buy a new car, buy a used one. If I knew that about 15 years ago, and now it's like this, because I was telling George, let's go look at used cars too, is no, it's too far away, it's too expensive, too this, too that. And the only place I could find a car was a new one. I know it's expensive, and I think that's what saved, like everybody's telling me, your car was so expensive and so well built, that's what saved your son's life. Because a lot of kids, young adults, have died from car crashes. So it was worth every extra penny that we're paying to pay it off. Even if it takes me 30 years from what I've seen, probably doing some extra payments when I'm finished with the payments to the government, the debt relief to the government. So paying that off, it's like I saw repay my car. So it was worth every penny. Even if I had to pay a half a million for it, which I don't, it's still worth every penny. My son's alive. Sometimes we hate each other. Sometimes we love each other. Sometimes we don't want to speak to each other, but it's worth every penny. Even if I'm pissed at him still. I'm a mom. I work my ass off. No wonder I get mad. Let's go back and see a few things that I showed you before. I really need to get this freezer fixed today. Not fixed, like put in order. So when I got the sausage, it was two humongous pieces. I cut the, well, yeah, I cut them like out. Then I folded them in half. So it's like each piece was, like I said, four. So I cut them in four pieces. Yeah, I was actually saying four. So I cut them in four pieces. Like each piece was worth two. So I cut it in half. So I got like one dollars or one year's worth of sausage. So I could be able to take it out and freeze it. This is going to be like for one, two, or three, or four drinks. So yeah, so I know every every little dish that I make, just the sausage is going to be worth 25 cents. I'm going to close them like this. So you can... I don't know why they touch each other. But the paper they were wrapped in, I just cut it with the scissors. Scissors. Put it up. Voila. It froze them. So now every time I take a piece out, it's worth 25 cents. I'm weird. I know. What can I do? Reusable bowl from French dressing that I use in the store for my chef's salad. Even the bowls are reused. Oh, God. These are the little sausages I'm talking about. I got them mini hot dog sausages. Okay, so it, it's a store brand, and I do feel that I paid some extra money for it, but I think like three sausages cut in half is for one drink with some tomatoes, something on the side. So yeah, there's a lot of them in here. Got, I didn't get the professional pack. I just went to the store and got it. So yeah, we're good. I think I'm good. I'll make a profit from this, even if we end up eating half of it. So, as you saw, yeah, I thought I had only put the two toasts, the ones on special, in the freezer. I ended up, I just took a look, and it's like all three loaves. Yay! But as you can see, yesterday was a hard day. Even while making my yesterday's video, if you haven't seen it, I won't tell you guys to go look at it, because it's, I didn't even have enough time to edit, made a few mistakes on the run. Trying to fit too much in one day, and I ended up crashing at 3.30, falling asleep, getting up at 5, and not being able to get up. 
I just fell asleep on my bed. My daughter was crying. It's like, I'm scared. I'm going to get kicked at school. I'm going to get beat up. It's like, no, you're not. One kid that's uh, actually terrifying her and making threats against her is like, no, he's an idiot. He's just trying. He's a boy. And he's a boy. He's just trying to man up. And he's 13. It's like, no, he won't beat you up, sweetie. I know that kid. He's afraid of his own shadow. But going back to pick her up after all that with my mom, and it's like, oh God, I just crashed. I went, we went to Galaxia because I went back to Edipso, got a cheese pie for 70 cents for me and a juice, a store brand juice. I think I paid 40 cents for that. So it was around a dollar, a euro 10, a euro 20, I don't care. She wanted a penalty with a juice. It's, I think hers were like uh, two together, like two dollars, two euros, and I'm like, yeah, yeah. We bought it, we sat in the car and ate it. That's how tired it was, it's like, sweetie. And my phone went dead, out of battery. Yeah, it happens to most of us. Now I'm sitting on the floor, charging it. <laughs> but anyways, like I was telling my daughter, it's not worth it. Not even worth it to get upset about stupid people. You have to be who you have to be, right? You have to be who you have to be, and that's it. And now I'm off to cook the rice, the meatballs, and after giving not 100, but 500% of myself yesterday, that's how much. I do feel exhausted, and there's no way, no way this day is going to end normal, and we do a lot of things. Just washing the dishes in the store, I couldn't even pick them up yesterday. Was enough to get me to extreme tiring mode and there's a whole day in front of me. A whole day. I don't know how it's gonna end because I'm so tired. But I did find on Facebook, this thing I have to tell you guys, I did find on Facebook of a person that's selling succulents and cactus because that's the only thing that's gonna be able to be alive during summer here. Okay, flowers too, but outside, no. And she's selling them for 20, 50 cents or a euro a piece. Like little cuttings with roots. And I told her, it's like, yeah, I'll pay the shipping and everything. Probably be getting a few of those because we have to start now to be ready for spring. You can't wait last minute. You have to be prepared. I'm also thinking of getting a bird cage and buying some parakeets by G's. <laughs> I did have a lot at some point. They died. They died. Then I got canaries. They died. The canaries, no, I wasn't taking good care of them. They're, I don't know, they're not. I'm not even taking good care of my dog right now. It's been like two, three years my dog goes, F you, every time it sees me. Oh, trust me, that's how busy I've been. But the parrots, I think of having like in a humongous, humongous, the budgies, in a humongous, humongous cage in the store. And some are keeping them out. And because it's my birthday in less than a month, less than a month. I think everything has to do with the store to make money. Oh God, everything has to do with the store to make money. I need some time. I need some Maggie time. So let me just go cook. I'm not even showing you how to make meatballs. That's how tired I am. I'm just gonna let the phone charge finish the store so I can go up and wash more dishes and please pray the water comes so I can take a shower. Because last week was a hectic week and I didn't even have enough time. I took a shower, washed my body, but I didn't have enough time to wash my hair. So my hair has been from last Sunday, not this Sunday, last Sunday, unwashed. And I'm like, yeah, it's getting itchy. That's how bad, it's like getting in the shower, putting your hair up, because you don't want to wash them every day. Putting your hair up, taking a bath, like a shower for your body, so it doesn't stink. But the hair part is like, okay, I'll wash it tomorrow, I'll have more time tomorrow, I'll have more time tomorrow, and I never end up having time. And it's like Sunday, yeah, I'm taking a shower. Didn't have time. Okay, I'll take a shower on Monday. Didn't have time. So it's been seven, eight, nine, nine days without actually washing my hair. And it's kind of, I feel like, ugh. So please pray I have it water tonight or tomorrow to take an actual shower from top to bottom. 
because washing hair does spend more water. My life, ugh. It's tiring. Trust me. We're gonna have to do a video of a recap of every little weird thing we did and some point before 2020 comes. And it's gonna be quite weird, I'm sure of that. <laughs> Let me continue so I can continue the video soon. Yeah, it's the height that I'm sitting in. It's 1.30. This is exactly how I feel. I just finished cooking for the house and I still have the store cooking to do. And to be honest, I'm so exhausted, I don't even feel like getting up. Look at me. I just tied up my shoelaces, put my shoes on properly, don't want to wreck them. They're five, five dollar shoes. I got the same for my daughter and I paid them for 30 because she had to try them on. And I ordered them online for five last year. Great shoes. But anyways, I was stepping on them, not actually wearing them, so. I think I overdid it, people. I have been giving like 500% of myself Try to get the house in order, try to do this, trying to take her to basket, try to take her to English, uh, yelling at her, do her homework, doing this, doing that. And at the same time, doing extra things to save money. And I think I just collapsed. My body doesn't work, don't want to work today. Even my lips, everything is like, yeah, are you speaking? Are you talking? That's 500% of myself. Other people want to make it with 5 or 10% extra, doing 50% of what they can actually do, and I've overdone it. Like, just cooking today and washing dishes, it's like, took me too many hours. If I was actually relaxed, I could have done all that in an hour. They took me so much time. My body is actually going, ouch, my hands are like, I can't even lift them. They're hurting. And the day's not over yet. I think that three day, five day vacation, I should meet it really fast for next year. I don't think I could go straight on for not the 365 days of frugal living, try 365 days a year of working with only Easter, Christmas, and stuff like that that I'm going to close. Even the days that I do close, I'm always running around, putting a lot in my day, a lot. But no, I'm not stopping the 365 days of frugal living. But I am really tired. And I can see until I relax a little bit, try going at 50% or 100% of my day, not 500. I do too many things. My videos have suffered. I'm suffering. Everything is suffering around me. And I'm also looking at the floor. It's like, it needs vacuuming. But guess what? Screw it. I'm not doing it. Tomorrow's another day, right? And we do have English school again tomorrow. And it's November and I'm exhausted. When's Christmas coming so I don't have to wake up for school? I don't wake up for school in the morning. That I can sleep at lunchtime and not have to be running to basketball, English school, this and that. When's Christmas coming? Please come quick. And Maria, the English school teacher, please have no lessons during Christmas. I cannot do it. I literally cannot do it this year. Yeah, the dangerous big dog. Hola. Gato, gato. Sit. Sit. Yeah, this is a rottweiler. A dangerous dog. Look at her. The really dangerous part is she weighs more than I do. That's it. 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 Yeah. Would you just sit? I cannot pet you when you're acting like an idiot. You're going to tip me over. I'm going to get hurt. I'm going to get hurt, you idiot dog. You weigh more than I do. And you're always jumping on me and putting me down. This one, yeah, this is my size. I know I'm not taking anyone with you for a walk. Because you're too big, you don't have a leash. 
And since we're outside, guess what? We're taking a look at the garden. Ugh, are those ants? Ugh, I have to tell my husband. He has to do something about this. Ants are eating this plant. I just saw this. But anyways, why are ants eating this plant? Ooh, look at the beets in a few days. Look how big they got. They're getting bigger and bigger and bigger. In about a month, they're going to be ready. Beets, I need you. I want to make money grow. Log burns are doing good. Even after the hail, everything is doing good. Oh, the greenery you planted, I can't see it. Oh, yeah, they're right there. Let me just focus on the, some of them. Right there. They're growing. I think those are beets again. I have no idea. Oh, the lettuces. Please let us grow faster. I don't want to pay a dollar a head or one euro a head. I find that waste of money. I bought you. Please grow for us so I can be serving free salads in the store and making more profit. Green peppers are doing better. We even put that up this year to stop the wind from knocking everything down because we're waiting for bad weather. Now I'm too lazy to do anything right now. But is that going to stop us? Of course not. Okay, got some fresh air. Well needed. Walked a little bit around the garden. And with the dogs. But I think he has to do something with the potatoes. Because I don't think they're supposed to be like that. And remember, I also planted a cactus, like the herb thing. Yay, hot chili peppers. Herbs, herbs, herbs. Winter's coming, so no kidding. I also put this cactus in one of the, if I can get it out, the cans. I left it outside to see what's gonna happen. It was like a little piece when we got it. Like This is the original. And it's like, yeah, we're putting it outside. If it dies from the rain, it dies. If it dies from hill, it dies, but it's not dying, it's growing. So, it must like being in that tin. And the tin is awful right now. Hey, what's the video if I show you guys the ocean? With the bad weather. And I also got a prick in my hand from the cactus. Do not pick cactuses. They'll live those little things. I can't take it out, it's hurting. But look at the ocean. The weather's getting... Ugh. Winter's coming. I love winter. I love the cold. But I hate waiting for it. It's almost three. As you see, almost nothing is done up here. My body's exhausted. But I'm not giving up. No, I'm not going to give up. And I'm going to get up, make another coffee, and continue until I drop. Because I am, and I want, and I will. The basic word, I will make it, nothing's going to stop me. Even if the water's dropping, drip, 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 I'm going to make it till the end of 365 days of frugal living. I'm going to make it to the end to succeed in my debt relief. I'm going to make it to the end of all my 2020 goals since I already finished my 2019 goals. I've started my 2020. I'm going to finish all my goals. I will do everything, but not today. Today, I just have to get up. I think I didn't give myself 100% of myself. I gave like 500, I said. Some days, it's more like 1,000. And ugh. One more try. Here we go. I'll continue till I drop again today. There's no way I'm giving up. Yeah, the dishes are washed. I'm not giving up, no matter what. No matter what obstacles life brings at me, I keep going. Why? Because I don't want to stop. And I do want to succeed. Life. Stop burning obstacles. I'm, start, I'm getting tired of jumping over them. But I'll be jumping till the end.
over the obstacles, over everything. Don't give up, people. If you're still watching, continue. I'm not even finished for the day. And I still haven't gone to work. <laughs> I can't see myself. Okay. Hope this is better. Well, it's 5.30. I've been gone for an hour now from home. Running, 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 running. Life never stops. So, it's time to end the video. Yeah, I didn't only give 500% of myself. I gave more than 500. And life keeps on going and going and going. So, we have another an hour and a half till my daughter finishes. And then I'm off to go work. So, till tomorrow, don't forget. Let me just plug it in. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> don't want to run out of battery while driving. So, until tomorrow, don't forget to keep saving, have fun, enjoy life, and always give it a thousand percent. Or 500, whichever is a lot easier for you. Maybe your body can actually go through a thousand percent day in, day out. Mine, well, 500 percent. I do squish a lot of things in in one day. I know at some point it's going to crash. It's not going to get up for a day or two. I know that's coming up. But until then, we still have time. And yeah, I'm off to go shopping for some supplies to get so we can start actually finishing the outside. But I'm not telling you that today. You can see it tomorrow. So until then, see you guys. <laughs> Bye.